Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to share the answer to a very often asked question as to what will happen in the sleep study. So I'm talking about the sleep study in which the technician is present the whole night and multiple channels are or sensors are placed. So first and foremost, we place a few sensors on the head which will record the brain activity. Um, there are sensors placed around the eyes, which record the eye movements. There are sensors placed on the chin, which will record the activity from the chin, and that is for the muscles. We also have a small sensor placed at the, just at the tip of the nose or the base of the nose, the nostrils, which will record your breathing. And there is a sensor around the chest, and also maybe on the stomach, which records the expansion of the upper part of the chest and your stomach to measure the breathing. There is a small sensor which is placed on the tip of your finger to measure the oxygen saturation through the night. And we have uh, some sensors placed on the leg to measure the leg movements on how often you move your feet or turn or toss, etc. So these are the basic sensors which are placed. They're all connected to a, a piece of equipment where the data is stored. This can be viewed at the same time or later on, that is the next day to make a final report. So that's what a sleep study measures and how these multiple sensors are placed. For particularly a child, we encourage uh, parents to make sure the child is active during the day, does not take an afternoon nap, uh, can change into their night clothes, bring along whatever is comfortable for the child for bedtime, a special book, a pillow, a blanket, a toy, whatever they are used to sleeping with. And of course, a parent is uh, welcome and is present in the same room for the recording during the night. So I hope now we have answered uh, this few simple questions as to what will happen and how will a sleep study be done. Mm -hmm.